With the new CBN's policy on cash withdrawals, Nigerians may have to adopt or adapt digital payment systems for their transactions. I had a chat with Omoni Ikolade. He's the founder of CIBIT, a digital payment solutions provider. He gave us insight on how the new policy works and more. Join us. With the new policy introduced by the CBN, how flexible do you think the digital payment platform is? We'll, I'll look at it from different perspectives, right? And uh, those perspectives will be from three, uh, three stakeholders. And those three stakeholders are going to be from regulatory, uh, the demand, the guys, the, the, the stakeholders that play in the demand, uh, demand stage, and then the suppliers. Uh, when we look at it from regulatory, which is uh, where the policy is coming, up, uh, is coming from, uh, today we know one of the biggest issues that uh, the complaints we receive from the marketplace is still about fail, uh, transaction failure, right? And the whole idea first is what is it that is built yes, and to be able to address this? Um, are all the, and, and that big question which uh, I always ask is, are all the stakeholders ready for this? Um, if the answer is yes, uh, that's good enough for us to see how um, we can see seamless in these engagements. But if the answer is no, that means there's a lot of work for all stakeholders. And those works and uh, when we are looking at the foundational, um, looking at foundational uh, payment provider in the market right today, do they have the capacity to handle the uptake, right? Uh, if they don't, if they, if they do, right, what are the systems in place now to be able to handle those uptakes, right, in case of failures or in case of Sussex? Now, also, um, looking at it also from the point of um, um, the challenges and then the kind of, uh, what do you call it, um, transitions or the kind of uh, experience customer is expected to have, right? I think it's going to also be at the level of how the market really understands digital payment itself, you understand? The available options available for them and how well they can actually run through the ease of support that is required actually to adopt some of the solution. With the risk associated with data payment system, do you think the CBN is creating enough awareness or they're just throwing people into the deep end with a uh, with the new policy? I actually see some awareness um, in the market, but I don't know how strong it is, but I feel that uh, awareness should go beyond understanding every touch point of customers um, and see how we can drive those awareness to those points. Some some other things remain quite unclear if people can still cash uh, third party checks and because of the limitations on the amounts uh, out there, do you think third party checks can still be cashed? If we're talking about check, right, uh, it's almost similar to like cash because all of them are six somehow in one way or the other, like uh, more or less, a, um, it's actually minimized, you understand, what you want to do because you have to take the check to the bank also, right? And I'm not sure that we are still dealing with the real thing we want to deal with when we're talking about checks or we're talking about um, either checks should be visible or not. But it's more about how digitalized, how fast can we go, how ready is this thing with us, actually. What challenges can you foresee transitioning into a system like this? Um, so um, I would say it's going to be a, a, a sweet ride, right? Um, everything that you tend to do at times always has its own limitations. Uh, but what I can say is that the market always finds a point to adjust itself. And also, um, I hope that there's like a adequate recourse mechanism to address potential customers' issue that may arise, which we, we, we start, which we expect to see as a result of customer embracing the electronic channel. Uh, I would also love to see like the CBN answer to those, right, in those response. And also how major customers' escalations issue, right, have been ad handling and handled at different levels, either from the financial institution level to the regulatory level. Uh, for offline payments, because Nigerians are used to offline payments in the market, you know, transport and our everyday systems. How long do you think this policy is going to take before we fully transition? If you look at it, who is this customer we're talking about? Because uh, looking at the statistics of the financial excluded from the 35% adults population, that 5.6% adult population, uh, mm -hmm. we're talking about 16% that is really, we understand, that involves in a typical area where we feel that they are still heavily cash, which is traders and yeah. also uh, which is the farmer, you understand. And those are the heavy areas that we see, you understand, those excluded totally. But we feel that in the areas you're talking about transportation, I feel there's a sense of inclusions that arise to them. But what is happening is how do you transit them you know, into those dig uh, digital channels? It's where it is. And uh, with the old direction, I think the policy is very clear on each stages, right? And why the why the stages have been 
been uh, been enforced or implemented, I feel that there should also be a way where people are actually being onboarded properly or given the options of what is available for them why they are trying to change their cash uh, within the uh, deadline uh, that is stated by CBN. So I, I feel that there's all, already a touch point for you to actually say you must change those cash. And those touch points should actually have a sense of enlightenment and how yes. easy it, uh, it is going to be for this offline activity or the major people in this uh, offline activity. That was Omoni Ikola, they're giving us insights on CBN's new cash policy and how digital payment system is going to bridge the gap. Do you have any questions or concerns? Do tell us in the comment section. My name is Lois Oguni for Guardian TV. Thanks for watching.